it is a fact of American history that the Founding Fathers' three presidents, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe, died on his 4th of July, Independence Day. But was it just a coincidence? On July 4, 1831, Fifth President James Monroe died at his son-in-law's home in New York City at the age of 73. Monroe had been ill for some time, and newspapers had reported on M-O-N-R-O-E backquotes illness before his passing. Local and national newspapers were also quick to report after M-O-N-R-O-E backquotes death that they thought his July 4 passing was a remarkable coincidence, at the least, since Thomas Jefferson and John Adams had both also died on July 4, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. The oddness of the events WASN backquote t lost on the New York Evening Post in 1831, when the newspaper founded by Alexander Hamilton called it a coincidence that has no parallel. Three of the four presidents who have left the scene of their usefulness and glory expired on the anniversary of the national birthday, a day which of all others, had it been permitted them to choose they would probably have selected for the termination of their careers, the Post reported on July 5, 1831. The New York Commercial Advertiser wrote on July 5, 1831, it would be difficult to find a parallel in history, three of them have been called away in a good old age, on the same proud anniversary. And then the Boston Traveler wondered about the coincidence on July 8. Again our national anniversary has been marked by one of those events, which it may be scarcely permitted to ascribe the chance. Then the Frederick, Maryland Town Herald marked M-O-N-R-O-E backquotes passing on July 9, 1831 by also noting the presidential coincidence. This has three of our revolutionary presidents departed this life on the anniversary of our independence, presenting the most remarkable tissue of coincidences that have marked the history of nations, the newspaper said. It's no big deal that these three presidents died on the same day in one year. There is an interesting blog post from the Boston University Historical Society that includes an excerpt from Margaret P. Batten's study of the accidental deaths of Adams and Jefferson. Given the inadequate historic proof available, we see a n backquote t recognize the reality approximately why Adams and Jefferson died on an equal day, Batten said. She did n backquote t consist of Monroe in her study. Batten evaluated the instances below six exceptional criteria, starting from mere twist of fate and divine intervention, to the MEN backquotes willingness or choice to die on the anniversary day. We can mirror on whether or not it might make a distinction to us if one or every other of those factors grew to become out to be true, she concluded. After all, the six opportunities those factors enhance are relevant to the very questions on dying and demise which might be so debatable today. But returned in 1826, Daniel W. E. B. S. T. E. R. Backquotes eulogy for Adams and Jefferson spoke to a degree that many humans believed that something aside from a twist of fate become involved. The concurrence in their death at the anniversary of independence has clearly wakened more potent emotions, Webster said. It cannot, however, appear hanging and extraordinary that those must stay to appear the 50th 12 months from the date of that act, that they must entire that 12 months, and that then, at the day which had rapidly connected for all time their personal repute with their USA's glory, the heavens must open to obtain.